Bill Ennett was an Irish musician, singer and songwriter born in 1951 in West Bromwich, England. He was best known as the lead vocalist and bassist of the Irish rock band Thin Lizzy. Leonard grew up in Dublin, Ireland and formed Thin Lizzy in 1969. The band released their first album in 1971 and went on to release several successful albums including Jailbreak, Johnny the Fox and Black Rose, a rock legend. Leonard was a charismatic performer known for his energetic stage presence and powerful voice. He was also known for his songwriting which often dealt with themes of Irish identity, loneliness and working class struggles. Despite his success, Leonard struggled with drug addiction and alcoholism. This took a toll on his health and personal life and he died at the age of 36 in 1986 due to septicemia and heart failure. Leonard's death was a great loss to the music world, but his impact and legacy continue to live on through his music. He's remembered as one of Ireland's greatest musicians and a pioneer of hard rock and heavy metal. Phil Leonard's parents were of mixed race. His mother Philomena Leonard was of Irish and Portuguese descent, while his father Cecil Paris was from Guyana formerly British Guyana, in South America. Leonard was born in West Bromwich, England, but grew up in Dublin, Ireland, where he was raised by his mother. He was one of the first high-profile musicians in Ireland to come from a mixed-race background, and his unique background and experiences helped shape his music and identity. Phil Leonard formed Thin Lizzy in Dublin, Ireland in 1969. The band originally consisted of Leonard on bass and lead vocals, Brian Danny on drums, and Eric Bell on guitar. Over the years, the lineup of the band changed several times, but Leonard remained a constant member and the face of the band throughout its existence. Then Lizzie started out playing covers of blues and hard rock songs in pubs and clubs around Dublin. They quickly gained a reputation for their energetic live shows and soon began writing and performing their own music. Leonard was the primary songwriter for Thin Lizzy, and his unique style and vision helped to shape the band's sound and image, with a mixture of hard rock, blues and Irish folk influences. Thin Lizzy became one of the most distinctive and influential rock bands of the 1970s and 1980s. The band's early releases were well received, but it wasn't until the release of the album Jailbreak in 1976 that Thin Lizzy truly broke through to a wider audience. The album, which included the hit single The Boys Are Back In Town, established Thin Lizzy as one of the leading bands of the hard rock and heavy metal genre. Thin Lizzy released several highly acclaimed albums throughout their career, and opinions on their best albums can vary depending on personal taste. However, some of their most highly regarded albums include Jailbreak in 1976. This album was a breakthrough for the band, featuring their hit single The Boys Are Back In Town. It is widely considered one of the best hard rock albums of the 1970s. Johnny The Fox, 1976. This album continued the success of Jailbreak and is often considered one of Thin Lizzy's most consistent and cohesive albums. Black Rose, a rock legend, 1979. This album is considered one of Thin Lizzy's highest artistic points, showcasing the band's versatility and musical growth. Fighting, 1975. This album is considered one of Thin Lizzy's most raw and energetic releases, showcasing the band's hard-hitting sound and powerful stage presence. Live and Dangerous, 1978. This live album is widely considered one of the best live albums of all time, capturing the energy and excitement of Thin Lizzy's legendary live shows. These are just a few examples of Thin Lizzy's best albums, and the band has several other highly regarded releases as well. Ultimately, the best Thin Lizzy album will depend on individual taste and musical preferences, but these are some of the finest releases in rock music history. Despite their critical acclaim and strong following, Thin Lizzy never achieved widespread commercial success in the United States or other major markets. There are several reasons for this. Competition. Thin Lizzy was part of a highly competitive music scene in the 1970s and 1980s, and many other bands were also vying for attention and success. Lack of radio airplay. Thin Lizzy's hard rock and heavy metal sound wasn't as popular as other genres on commercial radio, making it difficult for them to reach a wider audience. Lineup changes. Thin Lizzy experienced several lineup changes throughout their career, which can be disruptive to a band's success and stability drug and alcohol issues. Some members of Thin Lizzy struggled with drug and alcohol problems which affected their ability to tour and perform at a high level. Despite these challenges, Thin Lizzy remains one of the most influential and respected hard rock and heavy metal bands of all time. Their music continues to be widely celebrated and enjoyed by fans and musicians around the world. Phil Linnett, like many musicians of his era, struggled with drug addiction throughout much of his life. He first experimented with drugs in the late 1960s and early 1970s, and his drug use escalated as his fame and success grew. Leonard's drug use was a significant factor in his personal and professional life. It caused problems with his relationships, his health, and his ability to perform and tour with Thin Lizzy. 
Despite several attempts to get clean, Lynn was unable to overcome his addiction and it ultimately contributed to his death in 1986. Leonard's death was a tragedy and his legacy as a talented musician and performer has been marred by his struggles with drug addiction. Despite this, he remains one of the most celebrated and revered figures in the history of Irish rock music and his music continues to inspire and influence new generations of music fans. Phil Lynott attempted a solo career alongside his work with Thin Lizzy. He released his first solo album, Solo in Soho, in 1980. In 1985, a high-profile duet with Gary Moore produced a hit single, Out in the Fields. It was a song which spoke of the troubles in Northern Ireland and the futility of hate. It peaked at number 5 on the UK charts, number 3 on the Irish charts, and number 2 on both the Norwegian and Swedish charts. In many respects, it was a final hurrah for a fading Phil Lynott. Despite its success, Lynott's solo career was hampered by his continued struggles with drug addiction and the demands of touring and the recording with Thin Lizzy. He released a second solo album, the Philip Lynott album in 1982, but he did not achieve the same level of commercial success as his first solo album. Despite these challenges, Lynott remained committed to his solo career and continued to write and record new music until his death in 1986. His solo work, while not as well known as his work with Thin Lizzy, remains as important as a part of his musical legacy and continues to be celebrated by fans and musicians alike. Bill Lennart died on January 4th, 1986 at the age of 36. It's a day I'll never forget. He passed away due to multiple organ failure caused by a combination of pneumonia and septicemia, a severe blood infection. Lennart's death was a shock to the music world and to his many fans, and it was widely reported in the media. He was widely mourned as one of the most influential and talented musicians of his era, and his death marked the end of an era in Irish rock music. In the years following his death, Lynott's music has been celebrated and remembered by fans and musicians around the world. His impact on the Irish and rock music scenes continues to be felt, and his music remains popular and widely listened to till today. Phil Lynott and Thin Lizzy have been a seminal influence on many rock stars and musicians throughout the years. Some of the most notable musicians who have cited Phil Lynott and Tim Lizzie as an influence on their careers include Bruce Springsteen. Springsteen has spoken publicly about his admiration for Phil Lynott and Tim Lizzie and has performed several of their songs in concert. Metallica. Metallica has covered several Tim Lizzie songs over the years and Phil Lynott is widely regarded as an influence on their sound and style. Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses have cited Tim Lizzie as a major influence on their music and they have covered several of their songs in concert. ACDC. ACDC and Thin Lizzy were both part of the same musical scene in the 1970s and Phil Lynott is considered an influence on ACDC's hard-hitting sound. Motley Crue. Motley Crue has cited Thin Lizzy as a major influence on their music and Phil Lynott is considered an important figure in the development of their sound. Europe. Members of the Swedish band Europe have all cited Phil Lynott and Thin Lizzy as a major influence on their 10 years and subsequent career. Europe vocalist Joey Tempest unashamedly displays a reverence for Thin Lizzy and in particular Phil Lynott in interviews and especially in the Europe tribute song Hero, an autobiographical composition which charts the influence of Lynott on the lives of Tempest and his bandmates. These are just a few examples of the many musicians who have been influenced by Phil Lynott and Thin Lizzy. Their impact on the world of rock music continues to be felt and their music remains popular and widely listened to till today. My friends and I grew up listening to Thin Lizzy. For us, Phil Lynott was the master storyteller and the master of songs that took you to another place and time. For us, he'll always live on.